This museum is located in Northeast Georgia. Stay tuned till the end because we will visit Ty Cobb's crypt. Today I'm in Royston, Georgia at the Ty Cobb Museum. I'm Danny and welcome to my channel Danivator, where my experiences become your adventure. Let's go and explore. Tyrus Raymond Cobb was an American Major League Baseball center fielder who played 22 seasons with the Detroit Tigers and played his last two seasons with the Philadelphia Athletics. These baseball bats, which were formed from the mold of the bat that he used, tells about his career. Like when he stole home base for the 55th time, a record that still stands today when he appeared in his last game on September 11th, 1928, and most notably when he was the first of five who was inducted into the inaugural National Baseball Hall of Fame. He was accompanied on February 2nd, 1936 with Babe Ruth, Honus Wagner, Christy Matheson, and Walter Johnson. This display shows his mother, Amanda Chitwood, the home in Narrows, Georgia, where he was born on December 18, 1886, and his father, Professor William Herschel Cobb. Ty Cobb was nicknamed the Georgia Peach. This display contains some rare baseball cards and some silver Ty Cobb collectible coins. Ty Cobb played 22 seasons with the Detroit Tigers, starting in 1905. This is one of his actual uniforms. There's one of his baseball gloves with a signed baseball. And there's one of the box seats from the old Tiger Stadium. I don't know if those are his shoes, but those are the type that he would have worn. Those Ty Cobb era baseball bats in this display case reminds me of his most remarkable achievement his career .366 batting average that has not yet been broken. The Cobb style of play was aggressive. This was probably a result of him wanting to please his father who had died just a few weeks before he played in his first Major League Baseball game. He was a master base runner who psyched out the opposing baseman. He wasn't scared to make you try to drop that ball. This museum has this mini auditorium, which is narrated by Larry Munson, the Georgia Bulldog broadcasting legend. And look at those murals on the walls. In this display case that is located by the theater, I learned that Ty Cobb was an avid golfer. He even played with the famous Bobby Jones. And look, there's an autographed ball by Pete Rose. There's some more priceless baseball cards. And there's another Ty Cobb autographed ball. Ty Cobb enjoyed hunting. That is his favorite 16-gauge shotgun that he used in numerous hunting expeditions. Speaking of guns, Ty's father, Professor William, was mistaken for an intruder by his wife, Amanda, and killed. She was acquitted, though, of all charges. This display case has infield dirt from the final game at Tiger Stadium on September 27th, 1999. Located beside the hunting display is this Coca-Cola display. Ty Cobb was smart with his money. He invested in Coca-Cola and in GM stock. This made him a very rich man. That's a great poster of Ty Cobb right there. He established the Cobb Educational Fund which awarded scholarships to needy Georgia students bound for college by endowing it with a $100,000 donation in 1953. 
he also donated $100,000 to build the Cobb Memorial Hospital, which is now part of the Ty Cobb health care system. In 2015, the St. Mary's Healthcare System out of Athens, Georgia, consolidated with the Ty Cobb Regional Medical Center to form the St. Mary's Sacred Heart Hospital. All great museums end at the gift shop. Here's the Georgia Peach Ty Cobb Museum shirts. You can own your very own reproduction baseball bat like the one he used back in the day. There's one of his iconic running photos. And many other museum souvenirs. Ty Cobb's last resting place is at the Rose Hill Cemetery, which is located just less than a mile from his museum. He died on July 17th, 1961 at the age of 74. He is joined in his crib with his father William, his mother Amanda, and his sister Florence Leslie Cobb. Ty's grave is there to the left And on the right is his mother, his father, and his sister. And here's a picture of that beautiful stained glass window. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed my video today. If you did, please give me that big thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit all those notifications so you'll know when I release my next video. And remember, your adventure awaits with the Danovator. I'll see y'all the next time. I got nightmares in my head, I fear Let the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Anxiety, filling up every space, no privacy uh, And silently, it could build and build until you finally see Whoa, it's taking over, damn no closure, moving closer